few days doing something that I should have been doing for a long time. I downloaded every single video from this channel and archived them on an external hard drive. Altogether, they take up about 500 gigabytes, which isn't really that much these days. But in the process of going through all these thousand and some odd videos, I got a really good overview in a period of just several days over the whole channel, the contents of the whole of the series. And I was kind of blown away. There is a tremendous value in this channel. Anyone who follows it from the beginning to the end will gain and grow so much. Even if you don't practice any of it, which isn't recommended, you really should do the practices as well as listen to the different explanations. But it struck me, you know, if all this material were turned into books, if all these videos had the sound track extracted and issued as a podcast, if all these series, there's over a hundred series, were made into courses, then we would have a much better utilization of this material. There's only one problem. <laughs> It's a ton of work, oh my God. And because I haven't been doing it all along, I would be starting from zero. So I did the uh, foundation series. I downloaded Google's text from YouTube. You know, they do text recognition and they use that for the automated subtitles. And I had to really work on it a lot. I had to work on it about the equivalent of a f one full-time day to get it in shape uh, to where it's readable, to where it would be good to use along with watching the video to clarify things. And then that, of course, could be posted on a blog and the soundtrack from those videos could be posted on a podcast. The thing could be issued as a book. I mean, there's just all kinds of things you could do with it. And it struck me that really, I should be doing it with not just a foundation, but all the series. The only thing is, <laughs> my eyes are going bad, I'm getting old, and really my role should be to generate new content. I mean, there are plenty of series that got cut off at an early stage and could be extended, like Vedanta Sutra, Yoga Vasishta, and um, so many others. The Nibbana series, I mean, these all could be like hundreds of videos each. But if I get hung up on editing the text and turning it into blogs and books and whatever, I'm not going to be able to do any new content. This, that, <laughs> the videos would just stop. I mean, there's an argument for that, which is that, my God, the series we've done so far covers such a vast array of topics and, and such a wide span of information and experience that really, I mean, if I never made another video again, it, you know, it wouldn't be such a bad thing. 
But the thing is that very few people are reading, or sorry, watching the videos because they're only promoted here on YouTube and a little bit on Facebook and like that. But if there were other things available made from the same material, it would be much more accessible, much more findable, and it would draw people in, into this channel to where they could access the source material or to go to the course site and take a course on it. So what I'm leading up to here is that there's a huge opportunity for a creative partner, someone to take the material already existing and edit it and format it and turn it into these other things that can be published on blogs and in ebooks and even print books and whatever, podcasts and so on. And to also manage the course site because that's a time consuming endeavor that I don't have the time or especially I don't have the headspace for. I always wind up feeling like an elementary school teacher with a PhD. <laughs> I'm trying to teach calculus and these kids are like throwing spitballs, you know. <laughs> so uh, I'm not cut out to manage the courses. I can create them, but to manage them is a much different thing. So anyway, I'm looking for a creative partner who can come on board and contribute a major creative effort to this channel, to this material. And I think the material has great commercial value. If it were monetized, it would more than be more than enough to pay the salary of a person, let's say a recent college grad with a skills in English editing and uh, other var various other computer skills like that. So I've mentioned this before in passing and I've put ads on Facebook and Reddit and like that, but I didn't really get any responses. So I'm going to ask again, is there somebody out there who needs a job and has good English skills, and a lot of interest in our work who would like to turn it into a career. And of course, after I'm gone, you would naturally become the custodian of all the materials, and you could probably live off that for the rest of your life, <laughs> you know. So um, let me know. Either email me or uh, say something in the comments of this video, and let's start a dialogue and see if we can work something out because the potential is there and it's huge. Trust me, I've just been through all thousand and something videos and a lot of them are really good and most of them are pretty good. <laughs> There's a few clunkers, but I've already weeded most of the actually bad ones out. <laughs> So the material is there. It just has to be developed and published. And this is something that you could devote, you know, a large amount of time to, and it would certainly reward you very well. Aum Tatsa. Aum Shakti Aum.